Welcome back, everyone. As we discussed last week, not every function that has an exponent is an exponential function. So for example, I think we looked last week at functions such as x squared and x cubed. And they take this form, and these are called power functions, where they're written in the form kx to the p, where the k and the p are constants. So for example, if we had x squared, that would be a power function, not an exponential function. Just as a reminder, an exponential function is when you have the variable in the exponent. So 2 to the x, 3 to the x, 1 half to the x. So what I'd mainly like us to be aware of here are what the graphs of these functions look like, and then to use them to evaluate some limits. We saw one limit last week when we got this nice number e out of nowhere. We're going to do some more limits this week, and we'll do lots and lots of limits next week. So this graph, I've drawn two different power functions, and I haven't labeled it. So I'm hoping that you are right now trying to think to yourself, what could these be? x to what power? And there's a variety of answers, <clears throat> but if we're looking for the simplest type, since we never get a negative output value, or never, the graph is never below the x-axis, these should be uh, even power functions, so x squared, x to the fourth, and so forth. So one of these is x squared, and one of these is x to the fourth. We can see they intersect at 0, they intersect at x equals 1, they intersect at x equals negative 1. Give you a second to think about it. Which one do you think is y equals x squared and which one is y equals x to the fourth? And this outermost one here is y equals x squared and this one is y equals x to the fourth. When x is greater than 1, the x to the fourth function is higher than the x squared function. When x is between 0 and 1, the x to the fourth function is underneath the x squared function. Because when you take a small number and you raise it to a higher power, it gets smaller every time. And then it's reflected about over here. Looking at these, now we do get negative y values. So this probably leads you to think that what kind of exponents do we have on these? And if you said odd powers, you would be right. So one of these is x to the fifth, and one of these is x cubed. They also intersect at x equals 1 at the origin and at x equals negative 1. And just as before, this one is y equals x cubed, and this one is y equals x to the fifth for the same thinking, that when x is bigger than 1, if you take a number like 2, 2 cubed is 8, 2 to the fifth is 32, as we saw earlier today. So the x to the fifth graph is higher up when x is greater than 1, and then they cross in between 1 and negative 1. Now how about this one? <clears throat> This is not looking like either of those two types. What might this be? Y equals what? We have a vertical asymptote at x equals 0. So something funny happens when x is 0. And when x goes off way big, big positive or big negative, x comes down closer and closer and closer to 0. So what might this be? And we also have to be careful not to get any negative, x, ne negative y values. So I hope you are thinking that this could be something such as y equals 1 over x squared, which you might say, well, that doesn't really fit my power function because it's not supposed to be 1 over anything, my form here. But as we saw last week, 1 over x squared, we can rewrite that as x to the negative 2. So this is our graph of 1 over x squared. 1 over x to the fourth, 1 over x to the sixth, they would all look the same. So it's got a horizontal asymptote and a vertical asymptote. Very interesting graph. We'll look more at it in a little bit. Then there's this one, which qualitatively looks quite similar over here. But over here, we now have negative, x value, negative y values. And the reason for that is now we're not squaring anything. So this could be 1 over x, or 1 over x cubed, 1 over x to the fifth, which we can write as x to the negative 1. So this also has a vertical asymptote at x equals 0, although we're going up to positive infinity on one side and down to negative infinity on the other side. And it still has a horizontal asymptote at y equals 0. So these are the basic shapes that we want to be able to recognize. Positive exponents that are even, positive exponents that are odd, negative exponents that are even, negative exponents that are odd. And as I said, my main purpose in this is to help us understand, get some practice with limits. So we have a bunch of different limits here that we're going to have you play around with on the applet to evaluate, and then we'll come back and we'll do them together. 
uh, 1 over x squared as x goes to infinity. This function as x goes to infinity. Here x is going to negative infinity. Here x is going to 0. Here also x is going to 0. And then if you haven't seen this notation before, when I write 0 with a superscript plus like this, we read this as you're approaching 0 from the right, meaning the right side of the graph because on the right side of 0 is where the positive numbers live. So this we're approaching 0 from the right side. And as you can probably guess, this negative sign there means that we are approaching 0 from the left. So we have an applet now that allows you to change different parameters in the power functions. So start with this one, look at its graph, try to figure out what you think this limit is, and then go on to this one and this one and all, all of these. Come up with your answers and then we'll come back and we'll compare our answers.